Now that two rooms are done, we are on to the master bedroom. And instead of keeping things easy, we are gonna put board and batten on that wall and paint it a different color. So that means I need to remove the trim and figure out how I'm gonna do this. Isn't that right? Wouldn't have it any other way, would we? Would we? No, we wouldn't. But it's gonna look so much better. Yep. Let's do this. Clearly I lost the battle in the bedroom to keep it simple and just update the paint. But instead of shiplapping the wall, we took our newly learned skill from last episode and started the board and batten on the bedroom wall. Dad's freaking out a little bit because he uh, just got his <laughs> blood work done and he thinks he might be pretty diabetic, but look at the guy, he's not, <laughs> not diabetic. I'm out of shape, no more sugar. Can't listen to that song, pour some sugar on me anymore. What? What's the full line? Uh, fill this all the way to here with hot water, water and then that rest with formula. Okay, perfect. Thank you. The most critical thing about board and batten is figuring out the spacing for the rectangles. You want even spacing throughout for the most aesthetic look, but once you get it mapped out, it's relatively easy. The last piece to the batten board is going in. It's going underneath the windowsill, so I had to cut it on an angle there. Good thing for a miter saw. We're done. We're done? Done. Yeah, I just gotta caulk it, but yeah. We're phasing out the orange. It's terrible. Yeah, it is. And it's so dirty. Like, look at all this shit all over it. You still want the other closet? This closet is nice and big, but yeah, I mean, when you're pooping, mm -hmm. I need to get ready. I can't be in here. <laughs> nice. Good morning. We are back in the master bedroom, and today we are caulking, doing the molding, and hopefully painting the board and batten wall. All right, so we are officially done caulking and cleaning. Time to paint. How's it going? It's coming along. Yeah, I'm uh, going through the first pass and then I'll need your review. Then Taylor, basically, that's the time when Taylor tells me everything that I need to change or add. And I've already been editing for like a good eight hours by that point. And I'm like ready for the vlog to be complete. And then I have the laundry list of things, but it makes the vlog much better for you guys. So without Taylor, the vlogs might be a little dry. Not gonna lie. Ooh, is he gonna keep it going? Catch me on the fly. Ooh. Today's Tuesday, which is why Kevin is not helping me caulk or paint because we need to finish the vlog before he gets hands on on uh, these projects. So, I'm a lone soldier for now. Painting requirement, is it not? I think so. Oh God, I almost tripped. In case you guys missed my painting clothes, don't worry, they're back. Also, I've been using this Sherwin-Williams Ultra White Interior Semi-Gloss Paint for our trim for like ever. And I have completely massacred the lid. I don't know if you can see that, to the point where it doesn't even go on really anymore and I'm nervous the paint's gonna dry out. So does anyone have a tip on how to either purchase like a rubber lid so that you can save your paint or I don't know, fix this problem that I've created for myself. Dan's not here till after Labor Day, stayed in that stationary position, then your pickup truck, pick it up in the tow lot, all right? <laughs> pick, pick that jalopy thing up in the tow lot. Did you That's see, where it'll be. <laughs> Did you see our last video? You gotta, re you gotta read the comments. You are, you are in every one. Every single person about our mood is like, but what about Glenn? 
Is Glenn still gonna stop by? We're gonna miss Glenn. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. I bought the property next to there. I'm gonna park a Sprinter van into the driveway there. Redo the Sprinter van. It's a hundred feet long. The new Sprinter van I have is a hundred feet long. Okay, everybody in Ventnor can live in it if they want to. Perfect. Right? That's the way it's gonna be. Perfect. We asked Glenn to help fund our uh, a house in Ventnor, but he said no, so yeah, that's why we're moving. Yeah, I people that live under the boardwalk this morning that are going to rent there. I got like half a dozen people moving in today. They're Perfect. willing to pay you. They're willing to pay you up to a hundred dollars a month. Wow. All right. That yeah. includes utilities. That includes uh, the water bill. Uh, that includes everything. That includes including you buying them food. Okay. Right? Hundred dollars a month. Perfect. Well, Alright, I gotta go home. I, I've been around too much. You got work to do, huh? I have work. So, we just got to the house. Little did we know when we got to the house, it was going to be absolutely freezing here. It was 52-ish, 55-ish when we walked in. And Kevin has been up in the attic ever since we got here. So, the heater kicks on but it's not blowing any hot air. And for, it doesn't have a pilot flame. It has like this little like igniter thing. So I turned it off, waited five minutes, turned it back on. It's a relatively new system. And uh, you know, with the door, I held the, do the button in. You can hear it kick on. The motor for the blower is fine, but still no hot air and no flame. So, I figured it was the thermocouple, but it's a relatively new unit. And I looked at the gas pipe. The ball valve's good. There's no signs of any leaks. It doesn't smell up here. And when Taylor tested out the stove to see if the pilot lights or to see if the gas, the stove would ignite, it didn't. So I did not switch over our gas utility and they turned off the gas to the house. <laughs> Good news, people. Heat is back on. Heat is back on. Which means, hopefully in 10 minutes, Taylor can take her jacket off, since it's been on all day. Maybe we can start painting and actually doing what we came here to do. And hopefully we can get this room done. Get what you deserve it. You deserve what Only the best. Nice, right? Oh. If I close my eyes, I can totally take a power nap. Yeah, it's nice. Today the plan is to paint the pantry closet and replace these wire shelves with some wood shelving. Clean out the cabinetry, even though Taylor already started. Install cabinet hardware for both the drawers and the cabinet doors. I'm not really sure how the previous owners lived without it, but we're putting it on right away. And hopefully empty out all of these boxes. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. The last piece of the baby's nursery is officially here and I am stoked to see how it looks. Kevin and I have this thing where we like to use pictures that we take rather than pictures that we find elsewhere. So this is a picture we took in Ventnor that we're hoping to put on the baby's wall. It looks so cute. So instead of taking out the wire shelving that we have in there, we've just created these L pieces of wood so we can hide them. So it'll look like we have wood shelves, but really it's just the wire brackets with wood over top. We raise your kids and wear crooks and Booyah! Looks so good. I love it. Yeah, it does look good. It is way better than the other thing. Way better. Yeah. I know you don't want to do it, but thank you for doing it. Hey, you got enough booze? Seriously. Anybody want to come over for a drink? I mean, gee whiz. There's more. I mean, seriously. 31 handles completed. I told you there were a lot. 31. It only took me about three hours. 
Jeez, maybe two hours, I don't know. It's finally coming together. I've gotten rid of one, two, three, like eight boxes. Well, don't show them over here. Looks like I haven't done much. Ugh. But I have. Did we think we would get all this done today? No. Are you happy or annoyed that we're still here? Uh, am I? To answer the question, I'm annoyed. We are still here. Because it's 9 o'clock. But do I feel good that it's clean and done? Yes. But we've been getting home at 9 o'clock every single day for this week. And it's Friday. I'm sorry. You could have left without Actually, me. the only day we didn't, we left earlier is the day I had hockey. Alright, I'll be back in and then we'll get ready to roll. Vacuum? Yeah, it's gross in here. We can just vacuum tomorrow. Yeah, well. Also, just, it'll take me three seconds. She is nine months pregnant, people, and she still goes hard at the in, at nine o'clock at night. I can't help myself. Well, that's a wrap. Three rooms are finally completed, and in the next episode, we find a very serious issue while updating our entryway. That could have ended up really bad. Taylor just said she smelled the gas through here. So we got really lucky, and we'll see you in the next one.